One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pooey Aggie Smell, Pooey Aggie Smell, Pooey Aggie Smell away. Hey. Welcome back to Pass the Turn. This is a Magic the Gathering quick episode because a lot of people have been asking, how do you install Forge? Forge is the best open source software. It's free for building Magic the Gathering decks and testing them against AI opponents. If you want to see a full breakdown of Forge, how you create decks, how you play games, all that sort of stuff, then go and check out the other video, which is probably one of the most highest performing videos we've done to date um, in the top corner somewhere of the uh, of the ether above my head. So go and check that out if you uh, haven't seen it already. Uh, that explains Forge, what it does, what it's meant to do. But today is just a quick installation video because a lot of people have been asking, how do you install Forge? I can't seem to get it to work on my computer and hopefully this walkthrough, this guide will help you get there and, uh, and then you can unlock the fantastic program that is Forge. So first of all, you need a computer, obviously, and you need a browser as well. Hopefully in this day and age you have an internet browser. So first of all, you want to click on Google or whatever browser you're using. And first of all, go onto YouTube and type in Pass the Turn. And make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. So once you've done that, you want to go onto Google or any sort of search engine and type in uh, Forge MTG. And the first thing you'll see is Forge Slightly Magic pop up uh, on the top result. And you want to click that. That is the website you want to be navigating to, Forge Slightly Magic. Once you're on here, it looks like a Wikipedia page. Um, it's um, it's run by users for users, basically. So it's not like a, a flashy program. It's just one of the best programs to goldfish decks and test out decks that you might want to buy in the future. Um, so what you want to do when you're on this website is click on the forum section. So this is where people will post updates and all that sort of stuff. And then you want to go on to this thing here, Forge. Programs with AI or rules enforcement, Forge. Click on that. Uh, and this is where users of Forge and uh, programmers and what have you will post updates for uh, the new cards that are released. So every... Uh, every time a new set comes out or new cards are spoiled, you'll see an update here with Forge release um, from the date of which the new cards have, uh, have arrived. So on here, on Forge at the moment, you can see that the latest released is Forge November 11th, 2019. So that will include all the Eldrain stuff and all the other cards that have been released since then. Um, so uh, I don't think there is any actually, but yeah, we'll have all the old rain cards on there, the 11th for the 11th, 2019. So you want to click on that. And whenever a new set comes out, you just want to navigate to this page again, click on the Forge and just see if there is an updated date for the Forge release and just download that version, basically. That's what you want to be doing. Sometimes as well, Forge, again, it's hit and miss the program itself, but uh, Forge will sometimes have an update where if new cards are released, you don't have to go back onto the site and download it. There will be an updater which will update all the cards from external sources which is good um, although I don't know how that works I'm just telling you how to install the program itself so okay, click on this one here forge release 11 11 then it says here download so desktop so you want to download this here and that will download to your uh, download section of your computer so just wait for that to do that I highly recommend Audi's um, Colombian coffee it's granulated, but what you do want to do is to make a perfect coffee is uh, put two spoonfuls, two teaspoons of coffee into the uh, actual uh, mug. Then two sugars is what I normally have. Mix it around with milk and to make like a paste of coffee, put it in the microwave for a minute and then boil the kettle and then put that water into the uh, coffee and then drink and uh, fantastic results. It's just fantastic, lovely coffee. Anyway, uh, Forge Desktop has now um, installed. Well, not installed, but downloaded. So you want to show that in the folder. There it is. Uh, downloaded it today. Let's get rid of OBS for a minute. And just drag that onto the desktop, because I normally have Forge on the desktop, so it's easily accessible. Um, so what you now need is some form of unzipping program. So as you can see here, it's in a bz2 file which is basically like a zip file so you need something like 7zip which is what i've got it's a free unzipping program uh, or winrar or some sort of archiving uh, program which allow you to extract files from a compressed source so you need to have some form 
of program that does that, but mine is 7-Zip, which you can also download for free. Uh, that's what I use. So first of all, what you need to do is, uh, once you've got this file on here, you want to right-click on your mouse and then go on to Open With, um, or if you've got 7-Zip, it'll give you an, an option to just click 7-Zip here, which is what you want to do. Is you want to go on to Open Archive, and then you want to double-click this, that will extract all of the folders uh, and all the files into 7-Zip. And then once they've all been extracted, you just want to select them all, like so, and then create a new folder for all the Forge stuff. So I'll just call it Forge. Copy all of this extracted files into this folder on desktop for Forge, like so. 138 megs this takes on your computer, just so you know. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You've extracted all the files, you've copied them onto your desktop, and that is all you need. Forge just needs to be in a location where it can find all the files once you open it, which is why I put it on the desktop. So let me just close this 7-zip, chuck this downloaded folder in the bin, and recycle, empty the site recycle bin, because we don't need that anymore. That's that's it, that's pretty much done. Uh, Forge doesn't really need, an, I think it does need an installation, but because I've downloaded it and reapped it so many times, it's already installed on my computer. So... Forge just recognises the fact that I've installed it so many times and therefore doesn't allow me to go through the installation process. So you won't actually see that today, but hopefully what I've done has led you to the point where it will install for you and you will you will be able to start using it. So here, um, you've got the icon which says Forge. That is the application there. Let's see, application, double-click that, and it should lead you into the program itself, which is Forge. Hopefully, uh, that has given you enough insight for you to download and install the program on your personal device um i'm not can't really do an it does work on android phones and that as well but um i've no i don't have the facility to do that unfortunately so it's on there now as you can see uh, i'm just going to run a quick command again so you can see how it plays if you haven't seen it already i'm going to use my arithmetic deck and the opponent can use a random deck taya taser all's off sign so let's start uh Madison, apparently my name is Madison. You can change your player name. You have won the coin toss. Would you like to play or draw? I'm going to play. Uh, uh, do I want to keep that hand? It's got a soul ring. Um, probably not, even though it's got a soul ring and a growth spiral. I've only got one land. And no, I'm going to mulligan that. Okay, green, blue, and a palladium mirror. That's fantastic. We'll use that. Uh, one card to the bottom of the library. I'll put uh, engulf the shore on the bottom of my library. And keep. So I, my turn first, I'll play a forest, and OK, pass. Um, draw a card, play a island. Oh, I can play Devastation Time if I want. No, I'm not going to play Devastation. And I'll play an island, and pass. He's going to play a Knight of the White Orchid. I'm going to play an island, and I'm going to play a... Do I play Kadama's Reach or Palladium Mere? What do I do? I'll play Kadama's Reach. And get a forest into the battlefield tapped, and island into my hand. And pass. Uh, he's going to choose human for the Cavern of Souls effect. He's going to attack me with his knight and play a taser. Okay, I'm going to play an island and then I'm going to tap four for my commander, uh, Eric Mathy. So he comes into play with two counters on him and he can tap the green blue. Pass turn. He's going to tap me for both. Play Dark Zalinga. Pass turn. Play an island. Um, okay, so now I can tap for one, two, six, eight mana already. That's ridiculous. So I could just Genesis Wave for five, just to get, my, get myself started, which I'm going to do. Genesis Wave five. Although I do have an infinite combo in my hand with Perinzorma and Eritmit. Never mind. Um, let's do it, Genesis Wave for five. Remove counter from Eritmit. Please look at the top five. Kiora. That's that's a whiff. I literally just get Kiora. That's pooey eggy smell, that is. That is rubbish. So I'm gonna use Kiora to untap Arismathes. Um and that's it. Wow. That's rubbish. D Spark. Exiling Arismathes. What does D Spark do? Does, does it exile target permanent with convert a mana cost four or greater? Wow! Okay, back to the command zone he goes then. And uh, they're attacking my Kiora. Brings around to two loyalty. Bag of folding. Oh, wow, okay. I'll play a Yavi Mayor Hollow. Uh, I could play my Commander again, but that's not great. I could just Devastation Tide. Uh, I'm going to play Devastation Tide. Yeah, solid. Uh, and uh, that's it. Just to reset a little bit, because that's really, really brought me back. Um, okay, then I should play a Palladium Mere. And 
Thassa, God of the Sea. Um, and pass. He's going to attack me with that. I can kill the Corpse Knight. I might as well kill the Corpse Knight. Take her again. Uh, scry one. Right, Cure or Master of the Depths. Do I want that? Uh, it's going to allow me to get more creatures. Yeah, I'll keep that there. Why not? Uh, I'll play Cure or Master of the Depths. Uh, I will use the uh, top four cards in my library. Okay, an island. Play the island. Um, play Cure up there with Beckoner. Uh, untap the island, I guess. Wow, this is not going very well. I killed my Cure already. Scry one, calling Oracle. I need. I think I need. I need something that draws me cards. So yeah, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna play the calling Oracle. Uh, get an island. Goes into the battlefield. Then I'm gonna play Eryxmethes again. Um, untap Eryxmethes with the Cura. Play Colossal Majesty. And pass. Wow, this is aggressive, man. He's attacking my. I might as well. I might as well kill the reassembling skeleton. I'll block. Uh, block Taser actually with Calling Oracle. Oh, wow. And then the Dusk Rose. Wow. Strike one. Rewind. Counter target spell. It's not good enough. I'm not going to be able to do much with Rewind right now. Uh, Storm Surge Kraken. This is a good card. So I'm going to do that. Storm Surge Kraken. Remove a counter, so he's a 7-7 seven, seven Hexproof, whenever he becomes blocked, draw, draw two cards, and I'm also going to attach this to him as well. I'm going to pay blue, blue, and one. Whatever, I take damage. Uh, yes, attach that to them. Fasser is now a creature, which is good. Um, fantastic. Uh, which means I'm going to draw some cards, I've got some blockers now as well, and I can make uh, Storm Surge, Kraken, Flying, or Shroud if I wanted to, that's cool. Right, nice, keep that. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments. Oh, for goodness sake. That's not good. Greed. Pay to draw a card. Okay. Scry one. Uh, Crush of Tentacles. Return on non-land permanent to owner's hand. I'm going to have to keep that on top. And maybe cast it. After I've attacked a Storm Surge. Um, yeah, attack a Storm Surge. And I'll cast it. Remove card from Rooks with the non land permanent zero times. Okay, then I'm going to play Dasa again. Remove a card from Rooks with these. Now Rooks with these is now a creature. Now he's going to start shitting his pants. Taser. Scry one. Zendikar Resurgent. I'll keep that on top. That's great. I'll play that now. Now my land's tapped for double mana. I'm just going to add blue, blue. That's going to add colorless, colorless. So I can't play Storm Surging yet. Yes, I can. These will tap. You have to draw a card off of the Zen Car Resurgent. Great, fantastic, good. Now he's going to start quaking in his boots. A lot of creatures out. Scry one. Alchemist Refuge. I'll bin that. I don't need lands now. Um, counter spell. I could play a finale of Devastation. Um, that would. Crack his life and Office of Serpents. Um. Use Slim Boder, am I? No. Um, let's just do it. I'll do it for one, two, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Just to get a big uh, Leviathan out, I think. I think yeah. Oh, I didn't want to use Alex Smithies, but never mind. Never mind, never mind. Okay, so Shipbreaker, Nezahar, Archetype, Pearl Oak Ancient, Kraken and Straits, Tatiova, Tremor Crafts. It's not going to have to be Tremor isn't it? Or Shipbreaker Kraken, because I can monstrous it. Shipbreaker Kraken it is. That is now a creature, fantastic. Um, and I'll attack the Storm Surge to see if I can draw some cards. Yes. And I'll play an island and play Sol Ring. Fantastic. And I should have done that because I need to count spell up. Never mind. Oh well. Oh no, I've got to send a Coral Surgeon, so I can still play a count spell. That's good. Um, okay, what's he going to do? He's attacking with. Uh, protection for creatures. 
Great. I'm on nine. Belinda, I'm going to count on that. Sorry. Blender Dust Rose countered. Reed again, paying the servant. Reed draws a card. Oh, okay. Scry one. Uh, Forest can go to the bottom. Draw a card, play an island. Right now, can monstrous the shipbreaker Kraken, uh, which is great. So first of all, I'm going to float a load of mana. Sixteen blue mana. That's ridiculous. I'm going to monstrous him. So if we come to 10-10, I'm going to tap down all of these permanents. I'm lucky. And I've uh, still got eight blue mana floating with four green mana floating. It's ridiculous. Uh, and then I'm going to make... They're not going to want to tap. So yeah, I'm going to make um, this unblockable. This unblockable. This unblockable. And this unblockable. Which we're Oh wow! I did not did not see what was going on there. What happened? What on earth happened there? Whenever a creature deals damage to you, destroy that creature and then put a one-one. Wow. Okay. I did not see that. Oh no! I just lost the game. Damn it! Did not see that. That's rubbish. Oh well. That's. Uh, Oh, could have won the game, but oh well. I was an idiot. Oh well, that's how you run Forge, and hopefully that gave you enough insight to build your own decks and start playing Magic the Gathering on your own if you have no friends like me. Thank you for watching.